Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Cody's Crazy Christmas by Andrea Wilpey It all started like any other Christmas Eve. We baked gingerbread cookies, hung our Christmas stockings, and played in the snow. Then, suddenly, I had a brilliant idea. I had to create the most spectacular gift for my mama and papa. Unlike anything they had ever seen, a gift from my heart. Everything was going according to plan. That is until I lost it. I began by gathering all my art supplies. I used paper, crayons, scissors, tape, and glue. My puppy Roxy helped too. My drawings flew in the air and colored pencils and crayons scattered everywhere as I searched for my favorite color, rainbow. We drew and we drew and we drew until we covered the paper with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Then it needed finishing touches. We snipped glued, and taped it all together into a magical gift filled with care. When we finished, we had planned to keep the surprise super safe. At first, I thought my room would be the perfect place to hide it, so we ran straight there. I looked around and placed it under the bed, but I thought someone might find it. Roxy agreed as she wagged her tail. We searched and searched and searched for another spot and finally found it on the shelf next to the gingerbread house. Even with a stool, I needed to stretch on the tip of my tippy toes as far as my body would go. Then I hid the special gift on the top of the highest shelf. Once I was sure my surprise was safe, I quickly jumped off and ran to check on Mama and Papa. But they were still shoveling snow, so we waited and waited and waited. I had to keep busy. We filled the bag full of carrots for Rudolph and his friends. We read several Christmas books. And we wrote a thank you card to Santa. All this Christmas cheer made me realize I couldn't wait any longer. Christmas is almost here. I needed to give Mama and Papa my spectacular gift. When we looked out the window, Mama and Papa headed to the door. They had finally finished shoveling the snow. I jumped up and down and decided not to wait. I had to get the gift right away. When they walked in covered in snow, I ran straight to them and said, I have a super surprise for you. I'll go and get it while you wait here. I excitedly rushed back to my secret hiding place. But when I got there, the gift was gone! I had to find it! Where could it be? Maybe I left it in the closet? I hurriedly searched and searched and searched, but only found Roxy's wet bones. Yuck! I quickly chucked the bone and dug into the dirty clothes, drilling my hand right to the bottom of the basket, but I still could not find it. I slumped into the kitchen. Where could it be? Maybe I placed it in the refrigerator. I searched and shoved everything aside until I found Santa's milk and chocolate chip cookies. I picked up a cookie and wanted a little nibble. But then I realized it wouldn't be nice. Santa would need them to fuel through the night. I obediently put the cookie back but accidentally tipped the milk bottle over. Milk dripped, milk splashed, milk went everywhere. 
It looked like the floor was covered in snow. I had to act quickly. I crouched on my hands and feet and wiped the mess off the floor. When I finished cleaning, I moved my search to the freezer. I checked high and low, but I still could not find it. I decided to try one more place. Maybe the gift is under the Christmas tree? I ran down the hall and into the living room while Roxy scurried after me. I searched and searched and searched for the present, but only found a toy train. All my searching made Roxy excited. She leaped and jumped and pounced. Then she ran around the tree with the toy in her mouth. I had to chase after her. We ran around in circles as fast as we could. Then suddenly, we crashed right into the Christmas tree. We tried to stop it from falling, but the tree tumbled down with us. And I still couldn't find the gift anywhere. My eyes watered and my arms dropped because I knew the surprise was gone. I didn't know what to do, and I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to disappoint them, but I couldn't find the present anywhere. So, I decided to get help from my mama and papa. They held me tight and said, Everything will be okay. It's the thought that counts. Christmas is about love and family and the warmth you feel inside. Let's look together to see where the gift may be. My face lit up with a twinkle in my eye, when suddenly, I felt a tremendous itch in my head. I scratched it and looked down. Something fell to the ground. The special surprise I had searched and searched and searched for was in my crazy curls all along. How did it get in there? Roxy and I thought it was hilarious. We rolled onto the floor and couldn't control our laughter. I grabbed the surprise and gave it to my mama and papa. When they saw it, they told me how much they loved it, gave me a loving hug and said, Cody, you are our greatest gift. I felt the warmth inside because I knew my mama and papa loved me. I will never forget this unexpected Christmas adventure when Roxy and I searched for this spectacular surprise. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!